I'm kind of down myself. I was hoping to bring home Stacy's baby with me today. What happened? I thought the surgery fixed her up. It did. But Skylar wants her. And his lawyer stopped me before I could take her out of the hospital. Oh, I'm telling you, Roxy, when they took that baby away from me, you don't know. I'll take care of him. Go lie down in that cubicle and keep your mouth shut. Roxy? What's up? What's wrong? I love Gigi. You don't know what love is. That's not true. I would do anything for her. Prove it. If you love her, you'll do the right thing. You go in there, get that little girl, and give her back to Gigi. Sierra Rose is lovely. Who would have thought her mother could have such a beautiful child? Why should I care? Because this little girl is your ticket out of here. How on earth can that be? Because of her father. Sierra got released from the hospital today. Just thought you'd like to know because you saved her life. You know, not because we have a DNA test that might prove that she's your daughter hidden somewhere in my apartment. <laughs> but no pressure, right? No, no, just looking out for you too. I'm well, glad she's in good hands. Good hands, uh, wouldn't quite go that far. You want me to just give up my daughter? Just let Gigi raise her. She's a terrific mother. She's Stacy's sister. Yeah, they hated each other. Yeah, oh, well... Maybe if you hadn't lied about being the father, none of this would have happened. Okay, look, look. Stacy named me in her will. Yeah, she named she her kid after a couple of dolls that she and Gigi shared as kids. Why? Because just before she died, she told Gigi how much she loved her. She begged her to take care of her daughter. You were there. You heard her. Rex, I'm not saying she can't be involved. As long as it's on your terms. You call that love? Okay, I do love Gigi. But I love my daughter more. Not giving her up. Roxy? Are you all right? Yeah, of course. Why shouldn't I be? You look like you just saw a ghost. I was just remembering something. Something that happened a long time ago. What was it? It's okay. You can tell me. When you were talking about little Sierra being ripped from your arms. Yeah. Same thing happened to me. Stacy's baby's father? I know nothing of him, only that it isn't my son, Rex. Much as Stacy tried to pretend otherwise. Uh, well, she finally admitted the truth. That, uh, that baby had nothing to do with my son. Well, she was finally forced to rely on a plethora of potential fathers to get herself with the child. And the one she chose could turn out to be very valuable to us. His name is Skylar Joplin. You're right. I never should have gone along with Stacy and Kim. Bad move, okay? Bad move. I guess, honestly, I was terrified of being a father. I didn't want to lose Gigi, and so I kept my mouth shut. But I'm going to make up for it. You know how? I'm going to be a good father to my daughter. You're an addict. Recovering. Yeah, and isn't that whole deal about honesty? And isn't lying the first step down that slippery yeah, okay. slope? Yeah, and I'm going to make amends, starting with my daughter. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that hurts Gigi. But like I said, she can come by and see Sierra anytime she wants. You're not hearing me, Joplin. I'm not asking you to do the right thing. I'm telling you. Are you talking about what happened with Rex? When what happened with Rex? When he was a little kid, his Aunt Corinne took him away from you. Corinne? No, it happened a long time before that. How much before? When he was born. It happened when Rex was born. He was just a little baby. He couldn't do nothing to help himself. Roxy, uh, are you saying that someone took Rex away from you? Right on the money. Who? Allison Perkins. You're gonna do the right thing, or I'm gonna do it for you. What are you, what are you gonna do? Rex, are you gonna break in here, steal the baby out of her crib, get a grip? You know what? Get out of my house. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. You and Stacy and Kim lied to me and Gigi for over a year. It's time to make amends. I'm not giving her back, Rex. So you can just forget it. I'm her father. You and Gigi have no claim on her. Allison Perkins? Is 
a real kick in the teeth, right? She's the one who took Rex away from you? After she delivered him. Allison Perkins delivered your baby? I didn't ask her, believe me. She was so excited because Moose was the father. She had to be there the second the baby was born. And she was. We were all alone in the cabin. Like you and your sister. And I went into labor early. And my little baby was as sick as a dog. Just like little Sierra. And he needed help. And the only person that could help him was Allison. I don't, I don't get it. Skyler's Sierra's father, so he takes his daughter home. What's the problem? Maybe the fact that Skylar Joplin is a drug addict and a thief? But I'm just guessing. If Gigi wants to come by, work out some kind of arrangement, then she can come and we'll talk. You are not hearing me. Joplin, there's no arrangement. Sierra goes back to Gigi. Who the hell do you think you are? You don't make decisions for anyone around here. Not me, not Gigi, and not Sierra Rose. You had your chance and you blew it because you slept with Stacy. So did you. Yeah, and it's my kid. So you don't get to waltz in here and try to score points with Gigi by threatening me and my child. That's all you care about, huh? Keeping score? Yeah. Yeah, and I won. Because Gigi dumped you. She dumped you? Oh, she'll be back as soon as she finds out you can't deliver. You son of a... on the doorstep. Oh, good. I got your message. Sorry it took so long, but I was a little busy. It's all right. I know it's a big day for you. I'll make this quick. A big day? Why, why is it a big day? Oh, every day's a big day when you're a Buchanan. You should know that by now. So what's up? I've decided to take Bree and go to London for a few weeks. And Natalie's actually going to come with us. If that's okay with you. Yeah, I'm sure B.E. can get along without you for a few more weeks. Great. Because I, I called Monica, and I checked in the divisions on Target. I can call every day. Yeah, well, you take as much time as you need. It's, it's your sister I'm concerned about. Uh, are you sure you want to leave Jessica on her own? <sighs> She's hardly going to be on her own. And Clint, I have to. I have to concentrate and focus on Brie right now. It is becoming increasingly difficult to keep her occupied and unaware of the fact that her mother thinks she's a teenager and is behaving like one. You know, and Marty told us that we could not force the situation. That could be very upsetting for, for Brie and very detrimental to Jessica. Yeah. So I'm just going to take her away. And I was hoping you could keep tabs on Jessie while I'm gone. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. That's, that's no problem. Kimberly and I will stop by every day. Dad, please don't bring that woman into this house. That woman happens to be my wife. The baby's father? Skylar Joplin. Yes, well, the name means nothing to me. It will, and soon. Allison, you are speaking in riddles. You say that this child is my ticket out of here. You say this Skylar Joplin, the father of this child, will do anything for her. What does any of this do with me? So what did Allison do? Like I said before, she took Rex to the hospital. Like you did with little Sierra. And then she took him from me. So that's what you meant when you said that you had your baby ripped out of your arms. <laughs> I didn't want to let him go, but he was so sick, and that was the only thing I could do to help him. So she got him help? Yeah. I'm... Hey, it's okay. It all turned out all right. What? Yeah, Rex was fine. Your story's got a happy ending. Where the hell Sierra Rose? Hey, uh, what's this about Skylar Joplin and drugs? Look, I'm not one to tell tales, but since it's common knowledge... What? Skylar was accused of stealing drugs from the hospital. Apparently, he forged the signature of a doctor that he was trailing. Okay, but the board cleared him. No, the board was afraid of a lawsuit. But the fact is, Skylar is an addict. And yeah, yeah, he makes a lot of noise about being in recovery. Whatever that means. Uh, wait, uh, did you know this? That's not the point. Okay, the point is Sierra deserves better. 